welcome to ESC Studio 2012. I'm Liam Davenport and I'm talking to Dr. Philippe Debonair about EuroEcho and other imaging modalities. If we could begin perhaps by talking about your clinical practice, about where you work and some of your research interests, that would be great. Good morning. So um, I originally come from uh, Belgium uh, where I graduated as a cardiologist and uh, then I'm now for uh, two years undertaking a uh, research fellowship in the Leiden University Medical Center um, uh, in Leiden, the Netherlands, uh, with Professor Jeroen Bax. Um, and my topics of interest uh, in research are uh, patients with valvular heart disease, and we're mainly focusing on percutaneous treatment of uh, patients with uh, valvular heart disease. And another topic of interest is uh, patients with cardi uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy for the moment. Okay, so um, why is it important for somebody working, doing the research that you're doing, to submit an abstract to a meeting like EuroEcho and other imaging modalities 2012? Well, I think it is important because if you see EuroEcho and other imaging modalities congress, it's uh, one of the world's largest congresses uh, on this specific um, topic in cardiology, and it's also a very high quality uh, congress. So I think um, having a chance to submit your own abstract and have it accepted. Uh, is an honor per se, but uh, also um, means that uh, experts in the field value your research as of scientific value. Uh, so I think it's an important uh, opportunity and a chance to present your own research data there. And on a wider basis, how does this sort of affect your prof professional evolution? I think it is uh, important as well because you uh, really get the chance to present your own research data and then you have uh, the opportunity to meet experts in the field so you can actually exchange your ideas, you can uh, build on uh, new uh, research uh, ideas or, um, or projects and also you meet a lot of peers with similar interests in uh, your uh, topics in non-invasive cardiac uh, imaging and so I think it's really helpful and it's a sort of um, inspiring atmosphere to uh, create and fuel your own new research ideas uh, it's important for a department to be present, I think, and at these congresses. Uh. Sure. Um, and aside from your specific research, what other areas uh, of interest during the congress uh, will you be sort of looking out for? Yes. So I think uh, as being a young cardiologist, what is important is also to attend to guideline uh, sessions. Of course, guidelines are one of the most important um, recommendations we use in daily clinical practice. So as a young cardiologist, I think it's very important to um, have the knowledge on the new guidelines to treat your patients in an evidence-based uh, way. So that's for sure one of the uh, additional uh, topics of interest for me uh, while I will be visiting your echo and other imaging, uh, imaging modalities. But of course, my main interest will uh, go through the valvular heart disease and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy uh, for sure for the next two years, I think. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And what do you, as a cardiologist at your stage in your career, expect from a meeting like uh, EuroEcho and other imaging modalities? Well, what I especially expect is that um, I can present my own results and have this interaction with people that are very familiar with uh, the topic you're presenting. So meeting experts in the field is important or just people that are, share similar interests in uh, non-invasive cardiac imaging. Because uh, once again, it really fuels your own ideas and the way you think about uh, these things. And also, I think it's very important to have the main focus on clinical applications of this non-invasive cardiac imaging modalities, not only on the theoretical possibilities of the modalities, but really going to clinical uh, practice and see what is needed, where do we fail, where do we have to optimize uh, diagnosis or therapy for these patients. And I think that's uh, the perfect role for non-invasive cardiac imaging modalities that is really helpful in every subspecialty going from electro um, physiology to uh, uh, people that are implanting valves or uh, doing a stent implantation. Uh, so I think every cardiologist benefit of uh, good non-invasive cardiac imaging. Uh, so I think it's an important subspecialty uh, now in cardiology. And do you think it's particularly important uh, still to physically attend a meeting? You know, is that Yes, I think it is important because uh, when you physically attend to a meeting, it uh, gives the opportunity again to, to meet people and to talk uh, with people. And it's very uh, important to having this um, personal interaction with people because it's, it's uh, really important to um, the way how you think on research and you can develop ideas, you can have discussions. Um, and it's much yeah, less likely to be happening when you're uh, not physically attending to a congress. You can learn a lot of things, but you may have questions or you... And there you can easily solve everything and uh, just by directly going to people. I think uh, everybody 
is really uh, yeah, willing to, to talk to you and um, it's, it's a nice opportunity, I think. Um. And one final question um, about EuroEcho in particular. Uh, do you think that abstracts are given enough sort of visibility during the meeting? Well, I think they actually do, um, because if you submit your abstract, you have a lot of uh, waste when you have accepted it. It can be accepted as a poster, uh, it can be accepted as a moderated poster, as an oral presentation. And also they um, do the effort of uh, doing a lot of awards for uh, oral sessions as well. So I think there's a lot of uh, possibilities and opportunities there. So that's important, I think. And uh, moreover, I think there's a, a new initiative of the European Association of Echocardiography, the Club 35, which um, is an initiative for young cardiologists that are 35 years old or less to actually pre give them the opportunity to present their own research and their abstracts. And um, they're also very nice uh, learning sessions, state-of-the-art sessions, and also chances to meet the experts. And I think that's important because, of course, the young cardiologists uh, of tomorrow will be the, the, the expert maybe in the, in the future. So I think it's very important to have this interaction with uh, people that have a lot of experience and young people to give them the chance to present. And, and it's also a sort of learning curve, uh, uh, learning to present your own research, your own ideas. And I think it's a really nice uh, interaction that uh, takes place here in the Congresses. Uh, so. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for your time today. You're very welcome. Much, much appreciated. Thank you.